السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس اٹس آر ٹینتھ لیب آف اوپ اینڈ ڈیٹا اسٹرکچرس دا ٹائٹل آف دا لیب از لنک لسٹ ان وچ آئی ول شو یو در ہاؤ یو ول ڈیلیٹ اے نوٹ اینڈ دس لیب آلسو کنسسٹ آف اے ڈبلی اینڈ سرکولر لنک لسٹ ان دا پریویس لیب وی ہیو ڈن اریز پوائنٹرز اینڈ introduction of link list in which I have implement a code uh, in C++ that how you will uh, create a link list and how you will add a node in this lab I will show you that how you will delete a node after creating it first you will create the nodes and then I will show you how to delete the nodes so for this we will create uh, functions and then I will also implement the uh, double link list for you in the form of code as you have done all these things in your theory course but uh, I will uh, teach you these things through uh, implementation of code so here it is the uh, previous uh, labs which we have done we have done nine labs in, uh, in uh, open data structures in which eight labs were on uh, OOP while from 9th we have started our data structures in 9th uh, we have done a little bit of uh, introduction of the linear link list in this lab uh, we will uh, do the remaining part of linear link list and uh, doubly and circular link list so the main objectives of this lab is to that to familiarize students with insertion and removal of nodes because for uh, for removing nodes you have to first create nodes because we cannot remove nodes from an empty link list and then uh, finding size of list and displaying this element meaning that you have to display the elements the which you have inserted and then also after removing uh, you can also display it that you can know that how many nodes has left to familiarize with doubly and circular links so we start with uh, singly this this is a little bit of uh, singly link list uh, which we have already studied that uh, uh, it consists of nodes the node each node uh, consists of uh, a data and a pointer pointing to the next node in this we have nodes uh, in which uh, one portion is uh, data while the other is pointer and we have head and tail node tail pointers in which the head is pointing to the next node while the tail is pointing to the null so like this uh, all the nodes are connected with each other with the pointer and the pointer of previous node is pointing to the next node if you want to insert a node in the link list so you can uh, in the last uh, lab we have just insert a node we didn't check that either to insert the node at the beginning so in the previous lab we have just create a link list and then nodes but uh, here are also you can uh, um, add nodes at different positions for example if there you can add a node if you have already a link list then you can add a node at the beginning after a given node and at the end of the link so these are the three position at which you can insert a node if you have a Uh, empty link list then it's it is obviously that you have to insert a node at the beginning or if you have already a uh, link list then you can also insert a node at the beginning you can also insert a node in the middle after a given node or at the end of the link list so we will discuss it uh, at the if you if you want to insert a node at the beginning so here is a diagram so this diagram shows that as uh, the head is pointing to the first node 
if 2 is our first node and the head is pointing to the first node if you want to insert a node for example 1 so you have to do a code like this that the head should uh, the, the head pointer should be assigned to 1 and the pointer of 1 should be assigned to 2 so like this we can insert a node 1 at the beginning a link list is shown below the old link list is the 2 4 6 8 10 this is our already existing link list if we want to add a new node 1 at the first node of the list then the head pointing to node 2 will now point to node 1 and the next pointer of node 1 will have a memory address of node 2 as shown in figure so thus the new link list becomes so if we if you want to insert a node at the beginning so it will be just like this so for this you have to just uh, change the pointers you have to in for inserting nodes you have as the head will be pointing to two so you have to just uh, change the pointer of the head to one and the pointer of one to two so like this you can add a new node at the beginning if you want to uh, add a node in the middle if if you uh, are uh, told to insert a node after c or before d or in the middle of the c and d so you have to just break the connection between c and d and as the c uh, pointer is pointing to d so you have to uh, uh, implement a code like this that the pointer of c should be pointing to f and the f pointer should be pointing to d so like this we can insert a node between any two nodes here a node is given and we have to add a new node after the given node in the below link list a b c d as e b c d a is our already uh, existing link list if we want to add a node f after node c then the link list will look as follows thus in the above diagram we check if the given node is present if it's present we create a new node f then we point the next pointer of node c to point to the new node f the next pointer of node f now points to node d you have to just change the position of the. for this you have to uh, create a temp uh, node for this and then we will assign the temp to f so like this we can insert nodes between the link list if you want to insert the node at the end of the uh, link list so for this as the last pointer of the link list is pointing to null so you have to remove that null and that null should be pointing to another node and the the pointer of the new inserted node as it is the last node of the link list so it should be pointing to the null so like this we can add a pointer at in the end of the link list so in the third case we add a new node at the end of the link list consider we have the same link list a b c d mean we have a link list which consists of the nodes a b c d e and we need to add a node f to the end of the list the link list will look as shown below after adding the node thus we create a new node f then the tail pointer pointing to null is pointing to f and the next pointer of node f is pointing to null because as we have already know that the last node last uh, node pointer is pointing to null so for this the our last uh, inserted node pointer should be pointing to null we have implemented all three types of insert functions so like this you can uh, Im also implement in a code so now coming to word that how you can delete a node so for deleting a node you should first insert nodes to delete a node from a link list we need to do the following steps find previous node of the node to be deleted mean if for example here uh, uh, the c node is deleted 
so for this we have to find the previous uh, pointer which is pointing to the node which we want to delete and change the next of previous node so here we have to change the next pointer free memory for the node to be deleted and also the memory of the node because then this pointer will be pointing to the next node of the deleted nodes so here is a procedure that you have to first find out the previous node which is pointing to the node that that we want to delete because that pointer will be pointing to the next node and also you have to delete the the data so now i will implement a code uh, that how you can create a link list and add nodes insert nodes and then how you can delete these nodes so the first part will be a bit similar to you so in this uh, code we have uh, insert nodes we are implementing a singly linked list so as I have uh, uh, implement a code in the previous uh, lab in which I have first declare a node here these are the headers then we have to uh, create a node as the node consists of a data and a pointer so here we are creating a structure node in which the num is the data while this is the next pointer which will be pointing to the next node as uh, in the last uh, as for we have mentioned it in the last code we were first checking out that either the linked list is empty or not but in this we have uh, assign head null so the link list is empty and we will be insert node at the start so uh, here I have write a function for inserting a node and pass a variable n as the node so first uh, we will create a new node with the destruct node so struct node static new node is equal to new the new will be highlighted as this is used for uh, creating a new node then we will assign the n to the data so here the new node num the num the data of the new node will be assigned the n and the its a pointer will be assigned head so head should be equal to the new node so the the head will be pointing to the first node which we have created here i have write a function for display i think uh, you will get this uh, issue that in the previous code uh, we have uh, first checking out that either the linked list is empty or not if it is empty so insert the node at the beginning or otherwise uh, insert it to the next node here we have assigned head null and then we the node that we have created assigned to the head so here the function for display if head is equal to null if head is equal to null so it will be uh, print that the list is empty that there are no nodes in it then we have create a temp so the struct node as we have write the uh, uh, creating a node with the structure so that struct node static temp this is the another uh, pointer 
which will be mean it will be display all the nodes for example if the linked list is empty so it will just uh, display uh, in the output that the list is empty then a temp pointer will be pointing to head and it will display as the data of all the nodes until the temp is not equal to null because if the as here we assign the temp to the head and we know that if head is equal to null so the list will be empty or if the mean this loop will run until the temp is not equal to run so it will display all the created nodes for us here the next function is the delete function so in this function uh, if the head is equal to null if head is null mean there is no node in the list so if there is no node in the list so it will so it will display that the list is empty otherwise the head num mean the uh, data uh, the the data will be removed or then just like this it will remove next to next nodes so mean um, how much time you want to uh, delete the node so it will delete Th this function will be uh, called uh, once if i write if i call it once so it will come once and delete one node and if you are if you have created now i will show you the output i have created the number of nodes and then i have write some numbers of uh, i have called this function so how many times you call this function so it will delete the nodes created by the insertion node so uh, in the main you have to just uh, call the display the display function and then the insert node here we have just used the structure we have implement this code to structures so here i have just uh, uh, display the function so it will uh, give us the nodes then i have insert the nodes the nodes i have insert the 10 20 i have insert here the five nodes and then it will display us the number of nodes which i have insert then here it is three four six times delete item and we have only five nodes so after this after fifth uh, delete uh, calling function it will display a message that the link list is empty so here is the output here we have uh, first it is uh, as we have not inserted uh, the elements the nodes so we are displaying it so it will show us that the list is empty then it will show us the inserted uh, nodes then the deleted nodes and then as we have we have five here so after sixth position it will uh, when fifth is uh, deleted so it will when fifth is deleted so after it it will tell us that the list is empty then uh, at sixth if we call the function six times so it will also uh, tell us that the list is empty now coming towards the doubly linked list the chain is seen form it is telling about that what is doubly linked list that how it is different from a linear linear linked list so the chain is seen formed in singly linked list is in a way that every node has a field next that points to the next node this continues till the last node where we set the next to null the end of the list 
this it is telling about the single list that all the nodes are connecting with each other with one pointer next to while the last node of a singly linked list the its pointer is pointing to the null as there is no uh, other node after that but if there is a head node pointer that points to the start of the node as we have a head node which is pointing to the start of the list moving forward is easy in single link list as moving forward but going back is difficult because if uh, we have a node 2 so it has no idea of what is at node 1 in single link list but uh, so the moving forward is easy in single link list but going back is difficult for moving backward we have to go at the start of the list and begin from there the above problem is solved by the double link list so this problem is solved by the double link list in doubly doubly link list we use two pointers in the node one to point to the next node and the other to point to the previous node mean in a single node now we will we will have two pointers one pointer pointing to the next node while one pointer pointing to the previous node and in which every node has a next pointer and a back pointer every node contains the address of the next node except the last one mean the last one will have only the address of the previous as the last node is will be the last so it uh, next pointer will be pointing to null and every node contains the address of the previous node except the first node so only the first node will have uh, we don't have a uh, pointer previous while it will be pointing only the next node so only the first node will have the address uh, the pointer of the will be pointing to the next node a doubly linked list can be traversed in either direction so its node will be just like this the element data previous pointer and next pointer so the first part is previous the pointer pointing to the previous node the second part is the data it uh, sometimes it we call it a data or element containing the data to be inserted in the list the third part is the next pointer that points to the next node of the list the objective of previous is to store the address of the previous node the doubly linked list can be shown as follow so the head will be pointing to the next and uh, but head will be not pointing to the previous and the uh, last node will be pointing to the previous but not pointing to the next so if we talk about its algorithm when when doubly linked list is empty which is indicated by head is equal to null or as we have uh, already uh, study it in the single linked list if the head is null so it's mean that the linked list is empty so in the case of doubly linked list it is the same if head is equal to null the insertion is quite simple algorithm sets both head and tail to point to the new node in this case new node is inserted right before the current head node it can be done in three steps update the next link of a new node to the point to the current head node update the previous link of the current head node to the new node update head link to the point to the new node it insertion will be just like same as we have uh, insert the node in the Mm, uh, single link list that first we have to check the head if the head is uh, null then we will insert a node and the head will be pointing to uh, that new node while uh, the pointer of that node will be uh, pointing to null as there will be no other node after that So in this case new node is inserted right after the current tail node it can be done in four steps but if you are inserting a new node after the first node 
so you have to update the next link of the current tail node to point to the new node update the next link of the new node to null update the previous link of the new node to the current tail node update tail link to point to the new node mean it will be involves four step So if if you want to insert uh, right after the current tail node, I mean already the one node is created and then you have to create another node. So for this you have to update the next link of the current tail node to the point to the new node. Update update the next link of the new node to null because as there will be no node after that, so it will be pointing to null. Update the previous link of the new node to current tail node. Update tail link to point to new node uh, generally a new node is always inserted between two nodes which are already in the list head and tail links are not updated in this case such an insert can be done in two steps update link of the previous node to point to the new node in both direction update link of the new node to point to the next node in both direction so the, the here uh, are different cases uh, when you have to insert a node so here is a code which I have implemented for you for uh, doubly linked list. Uh, in this case, uh, I have implemented the, uh, the code through classes. In this, there will be three uh, CPP files. Uh, here, the one CPP file I will I have create a node uh, class, the class node. Here I have uh, privately uh, declared its members at the node of the doubly linked list include data, the next pointer and the previous pointer. So here I have declared the data which is integer, the pointer next node and the previous node. These are the two pointers of the node of the doubly linked list. So publicly, uh, I have uh, defined the functions uh, here in the first, it is a constructor passing one variable a in this as the we have declared data. So I have assigned this value to data and assign null to both the pointers. So uh, it, uh, what it mean that uh, both the pointers are null so the linked list is empty then a function int get data it will give us the data which we insert through nodes it will be give us the data of the nodes set data set data is the pointer that the pointer will assign data to node this data is equal to data then get next is a pointer it will return us the next node the get previous node as if you are seeing here it is a node which is the class so we these pointers are declared with the name of the class so it will give us the pointers the next node and the previous node these pointers the void set next it will uh, I have the past the next node we, we have declared two pointers next node and previous node which are the part of the node so in the set next this will be assigned to the next node and in the other function this previous node will assign this previous node so we will use these functions and pointers in our code so this is one cpp file which i will save with the name of uh, node node.cpp so like this you can call it by just including its name as we just include uh, node.cpp so this previous file will be included to this file so here uh, i have uh, mentioned the class list 
in this i have create a head node and then size and then current node i have create two pointers uh, two pointers one pointer will be pointing to the head while one will be pointing to current and list this is our uh, constructor default constructor in which all these three items will be assigned zero as the two pointers will be assigned null and the size will be assigned zero now as for assigning the zero it means that there, there are no nodes in the linked list so through this function we will add nodes to the linked list so add nodes this is a function add nodes in which we are passing a variable a so node steric new node node is the name of the class in which which we have mentioned in our previous file and new node is a pointer which will create new if you write new so it will be highlighted mid in will we create a new node having a so if the size is equal to is equal to 0 mean uh, the head node is equal to new node so the current node is equal to new node mean if the uh, if the size is equal to 0 so the head node will be assigned the new node and the current node will be assigned the new node mean uh, we are creating a link link list so the new node will be the head else where kya karega new node set next current node get next and new node set previous current node if if the link list is empty so it will just create a new node but if the link list is not empty so the next node will be assigned mean we will create two uh, pointers the next mean if uh, we are creating a node so it must have a next pointer and a previous pointer so the uh, current node mean that set next new node and the current node is equal to new node and like this the size will be increasing mean like this you have to insert nodes like this mean uh, the set next next pointers will be uh, assigned to the new nodes and a as we have uh, told uh, and we have said that the uh, head is not pointing to the previous nodes so the next function coming towards is the display data so here we have uh, declaring a temp pointer the temp will be assigned to the head node so uh, the head node and the double linked list data is so it will assign the uh, linked list data and if the temp while we will uh, assign a loop while temp is not equal to null mean uh, that first it is assigned to the head so it will goes until the temp is not equal to null mean it will be goes until the uh, end point the end node so it will mean display all the nodes which we have inserted so it is just like this and here the display reverse it will simply reverse our um, nodes so here i is equal to size as we have mentioned the size in our insert nodes so the node uh, temp is equal to the current node mean the current node and it will go into the minus minus it will first take the last node first and then the mean just look at see how temp get data and then it will goes to the minus minus and then temp to the previous mean it will takes us to the previous uh, nodes like this here is the main 
uh, we have just uh, here uh, this is the uh, list uh, file so in the main we will include it so there are three cpp files here we have include uh, the list of cpp in the third file in the list cpp file we have include the node cpp while in this we have include the uh, the list uh, um, in the main so here we have create an object li and then li we have create the nodes till 7 then we have display the data and then we have just display the reverse data so here we have the 1 to 7 and then it, it, it is in the reverse order so uh, coming towards the circular link list uh, the circular singly linked list is uh, little different from the uh, singly linked list uh, it is same as the single linked list that uh, it has a nodes and uh, the node consists of a data and the and a node consists of a pointer pointing to the next node but it has a uh, one thing different that the last node will be pointing to the first node here is a, this difference of the circular link list from the singly link list and and also from the doubly link list or so singular link singly link list is singly link list which has the last element linked to the first element in the list being circular it really has no ends then we will use only one pointer to indicate one element in the list the newest element we have a list with five elements we have connected the last node with the first node it means that the next of the last node is pointing towards the first so it can be also uh, its diagram can be also shown in a circular way that it is the last node is pointing again to the head so it is uh, all the three link list the singly link list the doubly link list and the circular link list <clears throat> as you have already learned them in the, your theory i have just implement their codes in this lab and hope you will uh, get it uh, the lab task is about uh, you have to implement the uh, doubly linked list as I have implemented but you have to ask uh, the, uh, uh, the data the nodes from the user while uh, I have not implemented the circular link list so you have to implement the, just implement the circular link list create a circular link list and display all the list elements and i hope that it's enough for uh, this lab and aap logo ko samajh aa gayi hogi if you have any questions regarding this lab you can ask in the interactive session or you can contact me through this email thank you